Hey, so I wanted to share a self-tape trick that has helped me book some jobs. All of the time, every day, I hear actors say, well, I'm gonna walk in and walk out of the frame. I say, okay, well, why? Well, that's what it says on the page. Okay, well, when you go to set and you film this, they're gonna shoot this scene a bazillion different times with a lot of different frames, a lot of different size frames. In self-tape, all you've got is here to here. So if you walk in at the top of the scene, this is what you're starting your audition with. A gray sheet. Boring. And if you only have three seconds to catch the casting director's attention, do you really want to start it with that or do you want to start it with your eyes? It's all in your eyes. You're, you're telling a story with your eyes, right? Well, okay, well, what should I do then? Well, I'm not ever going to tell you what you should or shouldn't do, but I'm going to encourage you to take every audition on a case-by-case -case basis. Well, my audition teacher said to walk in. Well, that's your audition teacher's decision. That's not your decision, okay? I want to teach you to think for yourself and listen to your intuition. I have gotten coachings on auditions where I disagreed with everything the coach said. I went into the room, I did what I felt was right in the moment, and I booked the job. It's not going to happen every time, but you cannot just take everybody else's opinions in this business and hope for the best for your career. So, here's an idea. What if, at the top of this particular audition, the character was coming up to the front porch and she was super nervous and she had to knock on the door? Well, I'm just gonna walk in. Well, that's fine, but what if you started this way and you used the depth of the frame instead? And they saw you What's more powerful, this or what I just showed you before? Obviously, you know the answer to that. And then about walking out, well, if you walk out, again, look how you're ending your audition. That is so boring. True story, the other day there was a casting director and a director that were looking at tapes for a project that they were casting. And they got to the end of this guy's tape and they said, see that look in his eyes? Do you see how powerful that is? That was the conversation. If you end your audition like this, you're not telling a story. But what if that, if that last moment, if there was something that was supposed to be, I don't know what story they were telling, but if there was some moment that that actor needed to connect with that other actor in the scene, well, the script said to walk out. I'm not married to the script. You have to understand auditioning is a whole nother bag of worms. You don't need to be married to what's on the page. You need to tell a story the very best you can with a couple of pages, sometimes a couple of lines, okay? So it's just, again, something to think about. I wanna encourage you with all of these tips and everything that I'm gonna be giving you, throw in the garbage disposal what you think is crap and keep what you think is awesome, okay? I really want to push you in the direction of listening to your own intuition and learn from a lot of different teachers and then put them all in a pile and separate them and put the crap in the garbage disposal and the stuff that works, keep it, okay? I hope this is helpful using the depth of the frame and not starting and ending your audition with a gray sheet. All right, see you soon.